What's up guys? Today I'm playing a little bit of shinny. I play with these guys when one of their goalies doesn't show up. Just want to take this moment to say thank you guys for watching my videos, liking, commenting, and subscribing. All right guys, I'm gonna use today as a very rough review on these E-Flex 3s. First off, they're sexy. Secondly, I didn't think there was gonna be that much of a difference, but these pads got the speed skin on them, and boy do I slide. I think my favorite part about this setup, other than how beautiful they are, is this glove. I got the 600 brake and it feels so natural. Also another thing is that I bought this set used, so I would have never thought to get a double T. And a lot of people don't really think there's much differences between a double T and a single T. And I'm just gonna point out, if you could see my glove right now, you could probably see that you could see between the pocket. If I had a single T, you wouldn't be able to see the middle. You could track pucks a lot better, I believe, with this double T than any single T I've ever owned. And I've only ever owned single T's. So that's one new thing that I never thought I'd track. And I'm glad I did because I don't think I'll be going back to a single T. Now I'm no professional guys, but what I just did there, a lot of you guys maybe can implement. And I typically go for a poke check, but lately I've been trying to like hold back on poke checking, because then I lose my blocker. So a reason why I don't like to poke check as much, like I was saying, because I drop my blocker and then they have the whole top I was playing the pass, and that's exactly what happened. You get burnt on the short side. Always play the puck, especially if you know that you can get over all the way if you have to. I planted my feet too early. I found a spot I thought he was gonna shoot from, so I planted my feet, and he moved, and I didn't, I didn't move with him. So if you guys like these two camera angles, hit that like button, let me know. I'll keep doing more of them. Nice goal. Here we go, here we go. So the nice thing about having this camera on my head, it has a microphone, so you guys can hear me now. So let me know in the comments if there's something you want me to talk about while playing games. Do you like hearing what I talk about when I make a mistake or do something positive? Or do you just want me to be quiet so you can enjoy the game? Got a piece of that with the shoulder there. Eh? 
although I didn't stop it, always make sure you have your stick blocking passes into the middle. If the player's gonna pass, you can block it. Even if you don't get 100% of the puck, you might be able to tip it out of the way. That's what exactly I was talking about. I didn't stop the puck, but enough to get it out of the way, and then my player picked it up. Going for the pass. Going for the glove. So recently I was asked if an uncertified cat eyes was worth it. Well, that's what I'm wearing in case you guys didn't already notice. And I used to have a certified cat eye, but the bars were a lot thinner. And it started bending every time I got a puck to the head. Definitely got a piece of that one. So after a long time, I finally just got the uncertified cat eye that they wear in the NHL. And I love it. I could see very clearly the bars are a lot thicker, so I'm not afraid. And I'm not playing with chars, so realistically, I don't think I'm going to have an issue with a puck getting wedged between the eye hole. Now, if you play in a league that doesn't let you wear it, then a certified cat eye is just as good. But if you can, I highly recommend you guys trying out an uncertified cat eye. Oh. Ah. All right, let's go. Gonna go left and then right. Again, that's why having an active stick is great. He thought he'd get an easy pass to the middle. I took it away. Usually near the end, I like to do a stack the pad, glove save, rolling over, spadenza. I think we just scored there. So don't do it in important games, but if you're just playing pickup, have some fun. Wow, what a goal. Again with the stick. 